Today, we're going to have an introduction to Viva Learning and the seeded capabilities of the app. That means what's included in your E3, E5 slash Office 365 licenses, with a few differences, of course. So we'll start the session by having a look at the current learning landscape and understanding it a bit more, and then how Viva Learning fits into that landscape, understand what the application is, and then jump to a live demonstration of the app in Teams. And then I'm gonna, we're going to close off with some useful resources to get started. So perhaps some of this information might not be new to you, but I hope it's going to act as a refresher of, of, of stuff that you already know. So let's get started and let's take a look at the current learning solution landscape, right? So there are several categories of learning solutions and also platforms that have really dominated the market in, uh, in the learning market in the last few years. And here we're talking about, first of all, learning content providers, second of all, learning management systems, and third of all, we're talking about learning experience platforms. But obviously, when I found out about it, when I started reading a bit more into this, my question was, what does this leave me with? It leaves me with a host of different solutions that I have to navigate through on top of my day-to-day -day responsibilities. And adding to that, all these learning solutions sit outside my typical work surface. That's what I thought. Meaning that I will have to consciously decide to step outside of my emails, of my files, of my collaboration spaces where I'm doing my daily work and launch this management system, this separate management system, and also the experience platform. And I have to do that just to separately to focus on the learning side of my job, right? And as a result, when I think about these either experience platforms or management systems, these suffer quite low engagement for obvious reasons, because you have to do it separately as a user and often showing single digit engagement percentages. If you if you look at it, this is outside of mandatory training, of course, um, training consumption. And again, going back to what I was saying earlier, the process seemed to be a bit tedious in, in the past. And this is the reason why we believe that organizations in general need to send a signal that we are investing in the employee's growth and development and through a fresh way that the industry hasn't really seen until now. Times are changing and probably you've heard this phrase quite a lot and you'll probably be hearing it quite a lot from now on and the need for having a modernized solution and bring everything together and simplify it for, for users, for employees is even higher than before. But obviously after going through this, we have a question. What if there is this learning solution that is really, that it, it intertwined learning throughout the workday? And what would that do to engagement with learning? What would that do to employee retention as a result? Well, one of the answers to this question is Viva, and that's exactly where Viva Learning comes into place, right? Into this landscape that we talked about. So Viva Learning brings regular learning into the flow of work. Obviously, the next question is how? How does it do it? It does that by integrating right into the platforms and also the devices that we are using throughout our day, right? Which is Teams in our case. Viva Learning is built for Microsoft Teams and for Microsoft 365 in general for the ecosystem. This means that it is in a very unique position to truly bring learning where we are, like integrated into Teams chat, into Teams tabs, as you'll see in the live demonstration, and also throughout Microsoft as a whole in terms of the learning providers that we integrate into the app. And if you think about it, we are already using Teams as a decentralized learning platform, right? In every sort of meeting that we get into, every chat, every document collaboration, people that we're working with, they're sharing information, they're gaining knowledge, they're learning new things. They're growing every single day, even though we don't really feel it. Um, sometimes I have days when I don't, but trust me, we do. So Viva Learning brings structured features. It brings capabilities. It brings integrations with formal learning, the way we call it, to kind of supercharge the learning activities that are natively occurring in every single team's environment. So with learning being some sort of an extension of the productivity platform, if I can put it like that, rather than a separate entity, how it to be, it's, it, it's easier for us, for employees, to prioritize our growth and our development using the app. And learning just becomes inherently social, if you think about it, right? And this is kind of the most effective way to learn, I believe. And plus, for managers and also for organization leaders, which are also a separate category, this sends a signal to employees that they are really prioritizing us, and they're prioritizing a culture of learning and growth for us by placing it top of mind and also making it easier to access um, to, and to invest in learning and to, I, I, I actually see the growth of the investments that they made. 
This is a very, very boring slide, and I apologize for this. But as I mentioned before, today we're going to focus on the seated capabilities of Viva Learning. So what you can benefit from right now from your teams. This is a list of some of the some of the features and functionality of, of Viva Learning. I can share that in the chat um, if, if that helps you. But obviously, again, this is a very bulky slide. Apologies for that. So I am now in my demo tenant, right? For today, I'm going to be MOD administrator, very, very nice name, and I'm in my Teams, right? So first things first, I need to access the Viva Learning application in Teams. The way that I do that, I just go to the left-hand navigation bar, the three dots, and actually I have it here, right? And I can just click on it. Now there's another thing you can do once you start using Viva quite often and I do have it in my Microsoft tenant because I do use it quite often I can just spin it so I can right click on the application and then you'll see it popping up on your left hand navigation bar whenever you need it that's step number one step number two once you open the application this is the landing page so it directly takes you to the home page right and there is a couple of things here that we're going to go through throughout the, the, um, the live demonstration then we're going to go to switch to my learning tab and then to the admin one. This is just for admins and because I have a, this demo tenant, that's why you can see it popping up here. First things first, home page. And let's start on the right hand side, uh, on the left hand side, sorry. So again, as you see, this is kind of a profile card, if you want to put it like that, where you see your name. My name is MOD today and I have a few options here. First of all, if I click on in progress, that will take me to my learning tab and here you will be seeing a list of courses that you have started, but you have not completed. So they will show up as being in progress. In this case, you will not see any because I have not done any sort of courses on my demo tenant, but do believe me, I have started so many on my Microsoft tenant, which reminds me that I need to finish them at some point. So going back to the home page, you have the option of pinning the application from here as well. I've already pinned it by right clicking on it, but if you don't want to do that and you just want to pin it to the sidebar using this option here, you can do that. And then last but not least, as you'll see in a second, when you come across courses in Viva Learning, you are able to bookmark those courses. And then if you click on the bookmark one, you can see that I have bookmarked a few um, courses that I've, I've, I've come across and I want to do. I want to do go through these courses when I have some time and this list, list can be huge depending on how much time you browse, of course. So that's the first part. The second part in here is the featured courses that you see. So these are some, this is some content that is being highlighted by my organization and I see it popping up in here because my organization believes that I do need to maybe have a look at something that helps me organize my remote office for maximum productivity, knowing that we're working from home quite a lot. Or perhaps I am a customer facing role and I want to know more about communicating with Charisma, right? Or I need some time management teams. And trust me, I do need some time management teams a tip sometime, hopefully not during today's call. But here you'll be seeing curated um, featured um, content provided by the organization for you. Scrolling down a little bit on the left hand side, you have the saved interest that you can edit anytime. Right now, you see that my interests are accessibility, data privacy, and game development. But if I click on edit, there is a long, long, long list of interests that you can go, go through, right? And once you set these up, the content is going to be curated based on these saved interests. So let's say I am passionate about accounting. So I'm going to add that there. And I want to know more about cloud computing as well. And maybe Excel and Java. And then I just click Save. Again, you can always edit this. Or if you want to remove any, you just go back here. You can click on Java. Apologies for that. And then it goes away. You click Save. And then the curses that are appearing here, they will change the list, right? So everything that you see on the right hand side are based on the interest that I've just shown you. And if you click on the arrow, a couple of courses actually you can go through. If you see here the little icon, it means that it's being provided by LinkedIn. So as part of your license, when it comes to Viva Learning Seated, you'll be able to get um, learning content from LinkedIn, from Microsoft Training, or if you want to import anything from your SharePoint to the Viva Learning application and recommend it to users, you can definitely do that. For third parties, that involves a different sort of licensing. Scrolling down a little bit, now you can browse either by your interests, the, one that, the ones that you've saved here, the providers, or the duration. So if I scroll by my interests, you can see that I have, first of all, accessibility courses. It's just kind of separating them and organizing your learning experience better. So everything related to accessibility, 
whether it's Microsoft training, whether it's LinkedIn, um, whether it's something from SharePoint, you'll see it popping up here. And you see who is the provider by just seeing the icon. Anything related to accounting as well. And based on all of my interests, as many, if you have a list of long interests, you're going to see a list of long, long, long um, courses here because everything is going to be separated by that interest. Now, if I click on one of them, I just wanted to show you, let's see introduction to disability and accessibility. There's a couple of things um, that I wanted to, to just um, here to, to show you here. First of all, you can open it in a different tab. You can share it and I'll show you how to share it in a Teams chat. You can share it in a Teams chat or just copy the link and transfer that to Outlook or to any other platform. You can bookmark it and you can also rate it. I haven't completed this course, so I'm not going to rate it now. And once you finish this, if you refresh the application, this will show up as completed. Now, if I move on to my learning, a couple of tabs here as well. So first of all, the bookmark tabs, and this is where you're going to see the list of everything that you have bookmarked. Again, I think I have around 70 courses bookmarked in my in my tenant. That's actually crazy. If I click on recommend it to you, in this case, again, you will not see any course because I'm using this demo tenant, but normally you will see courses recommended to you by your organization. And here is going to be a list of courses. Then if I click on in progress, because I've clicked on this module, um, even though I haven't really completed it, I've just opened it in a separate window, right? And this took me to the, to the landing page of the course. Now it's showing up as being in progress, right? And once I complete this course, you'll be able to see all in here and you'll also be able to see the date that you have completed them on in this case i've deployed i've completed the deploy azure resources by using bicep and github actions and i've done that in november but since then i haven't done anything which i should which should raise question mark for me i should spend more time on on my learning and last but not the least i just want to quickly show you in the admin bit um in terms of the managed providers bit Again, in this case, because we're only talking about the seeded capabilities of Viva Learning, you, are, you will have a session in the future where we go into more depth on other features of Viva Learning. In this case, I have the LinkedIn Learning, um, the Microsoft Training, and if I click on Ad Providers, let's just say I'm an admin, I can choose from M365 Training, Microsoft Learn, and also SharePoint, but these are the only three options that I have. Last but not the least, actually, no, I have two more things I wanted to show you. So if I go to my chat, you've noticed that when I had the share option in Viva Learning, I could just share it in a Teams chat specifically, or I can just copy the link. But the cool thing is, if I go to a chat in Teams with Adele, let's just say, and if I click on the plus sign, I have the Viva Learning here, right? And if I click on it, Let's just say I want to send Adele a course about sales. I just clicked on sales and now I see every course on sales that is available on Viva Learning. I can also explore the app from here. I just click on it and it's going to open the app for me. So let's say I want to share this with her. I'll click on it. And I just shared, with, shared it with her. And she can click on it and it's going to be opened up in the Viva Learning app. That is also because I wanted to show you the difference between just sharing it from the chat specifically and from the app specifically. Again, you have the Teams option in here. And let's say I want to share this with Megan. I can just quickly share it. And the last thing, this is actually the last thing that I wanted to show you. And this kind of comes in connection with what Nick spoke to you about last week. So if you haven't used Viva Learning so far, but you have used Viva Connections, if I click on Viva Connections, you can access the Viva Learning application from Viva Connections specifically. So if you go to the navigation bar, obviously you have Connections, Engage, Insights, and Learning because this is the homepage for, for Viva within Teams. So again, if you are in Connections and you want to do, when you go to Viva Learning, if you don't have it pinned and you just want to just quickly go there without having to go to the three ellipses and click on it, you can go in here and click on Learning and then it's going to take you straight to the Viva Learning application. Um, I think these are a couple of good resources to, which will help you get started with, with Viva Learning. Um, and I would, I really do recommend it. Just a spoiler alert for next week. So next week, we're going to have lovely Joe speaking about Microsoft Designer. Then we're going to move to Team Telephony. We will have a Viva Engage session as well with, with Nick. 
Um, then we're going to speak more about the new planner. And after that, we're going to jump into some PowerPoint tips and tricks. So we are looking forward to having you back next week. Bye.